we're back to Miami weather. Okay, guys, you've been waiting for this video for a super long time. How do I know? Because I keep getting questions. But today I'm going to show you what changed with the Pelican Catch 130 high drive. We got the 2019 over there and the 20. Babalao. Hey, guys. Remember to pick up after yourself. I forgot to pick this up. But look at that. There were two ladies here before and they did some kind of like brujeria, Hialeah style here in, in Homestead. Psst, don't get close to that. Although that might bring fish. Hopefully it's nobody's um, ashes, right? Ooh. Okay guys, let's talk about these two boats right here. Yes, you're not seeing double. There's two of them, two of them. These are the Pelican Catch 130 high drives. But guess what? We got a 2019 and a 2020. Let me just tell you what changed, because you know, wait, 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 wait. Before we get to that, to blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> what are you laughing at? All right, so before we get to what changed, let's talk about what didn't change. It's the same hole, same hole design. You get the same dry well. You get the same Scotty mounts. The same bungee cables right here. The same handle, riveted, right? The seat is exactly the same. It's very comfortable. What do you think? Is it, is it comfortable? comfortable? Yeah. Yeah, all right, good. And the time well is the same. Same hole, guys, same holes. And look at this, more bungee in the back. But now that we're here, let's talk about some of the things that change. First of all, the old model has rivets. You see that? Rivets right here. And no longer rivets. Now we have bolts and nuts. Pretty awesome stuff. Pelican also replaced the old stoppers. I call them stopper. I don't know what that is anyways. But now they're better built. They're stronger. And this cable here should not let go and get inside the boat. Now let's talk about what else changed. Right here. You see the rotor control right here? Now it's longer. And not longer has this little lip thing right here. You can see it right there, longer and flatter. It's more comfortable. Another thing that changed was the drive. Now we got the HD2. These are basically the same drive, but better built. They're stronger. They're using stronger materials. One of the changes that they did, instead of having the rod screwed in, this rod's right here, they replace it instead of just having the rod screwed in you could just remove this little bolt and then it goes out which is it will be easier to replace in case it breaks so that's awesome also if you look at the cranks these cranks right here they have kind of like a, a channel you no longer have this on the new one the material is stronger stronger aluminium stronger plastic better build but in terms of speeds and things like that they perform about the same but it's gonna be a more durable drive for you. What else changed? Talking about the drive. You know why you have so many failures with the drive? Because a lot of people just kept moving this boat through shallow waters, through logs, through a bunch of stuff and keep, they, they kept breaking them, right? Yep, they forget to take it out. Yeah, it's easy to forget. Now they have to put a sign for, for those people that forget. Yeah, now they have a sign, see? Right here, it says that if, you, if you're gonna beach this boat, make sure to remove the drive before you do that. If you, I'm gonna hit shallow water, remove the drive or it may break and it's not. It's not covered by Pelican. Okay. This guy works for Pelican. 